trender trap. I know this is usually something we do on on our Monday show, but you know, Travis Fulgham is a guy who was, you know, getting 10 plus targets after he emerged in week five, 13 targets, 10 targets, 11 targets in weeks five through seven. Jalen Rieger comes back in week eight prior to the Eagles by last week. And, you know, Fulgham sees under 10 targets for the first time since his emergence, seven targets. Uh, Jalen Rieger had six targets. Do you think that it is a trend or a trap that Fulgham, you know, his run is over or will he be able to, you know, sustain because at 6,400, I think he's interesting if you're going to project him for 10 plus, if you're projecting him for seven, I don't think you can go there. Yeah, I think Travis Fulgham is a tournament only play. And I know I dog this man <laughs> earlier <laughs> in the season, uh, specifically a game, the game against Pittsburgh, where I said he was, he was never going to do it again. Kind of proved me wrong on that. Maybe, maybe not. Hasn't gotten over 100 yards since. But he scored a touchdown in every game that he's played in but one. Five plus catches in every game that he started right so i i think if you want to go there i wouldn't hate it and i think it's a trap i think fulgham is the guy there um yeah. I, I think he's the number one wide receiver he's looked the best out of basically every eagles offensive player uh this season in 2020 so he f- should be the number one guy in philadelphia and you know if you didn't watch my video shame on you but the Eagles stack was one of the stacks that i highlighted and i kind of went in depth on fulgham so if you want you can go peep that video on the dfs dose youtube channel but i like him a lot in tournaments this week 